to Maharashtra because you know Maharashtra goes to polls in a very staggered fashion. Uh, you've got polls happening in phase one in Nagpur in the uh, Naxal dominated area of Garchiroli, Ramtek, Bhandara, Gondia, which is where uh, Praful Patel comes from. NDA has four, four seats, the India Alliance has won. And the question really is, and I want to go to Yashwan Deshmukh, because given how much of a hodgepodge there is in Maharashtra elections and how many parties and leaders have switched alliances, do you think this is where the maximum fluidity is, that while other states are likely to proceed along reasonably predictable lines, it's in Maharashtra where netas, voters, pandits, pollsters, they're all equally confused. And they are confused for a good reason, Rahul, because uh, in a state which was arguably bipolar for almost like four decades, all of a sudden we are looking at uh, six-cornered equationing. And it's not that the contest is six-cornered, but the equationing on the ground is six-cornered. And it totally depends on which particular alliance partner on which, uh, which seat is contesting against which particular uh, alliance partner of the other side. So that's what makes it a very, very uh, painful exercise. Interesting, I guess, to an extent. It's interesting to, uh, to see the swings on the issues if they are, but it's very difficult and painful to study the swings which are coming out of confusion. So that confusion among the voters is induced by the politics that has been played out. And having said that, I think eventually Maharashtra will be playing that TV soap of Kamzor Kari Khan. You know, it's not about which is the strongest point on which side of the alliance partner. It's going to be eventually looking at the which are the weakest uh, parts of each alliance partner. And the numbers in our tracker, uh, Rahul, uh, they show like uh, the poll which we did for the ABP, the last one, uh, the Kamzor Kadi, the weakest link of the opposition partner side is the Congress. And the weakest link seems to be on the NDA side is Ajit Pawar's, his candidates. So there is a chemical locha, if I may use the term, uh, on two sides, two, two, two distinctive uh, options. I don't see the core BJP voter being very, very enthusiastic about supporting Ajit Pawar's candidate as and where they are. Similarly, I don't see even a good, great sympathizer of Uddhav Thakre voting for Congress in order to defeat Narendra Modi. So there are two con severe, severe contradictions in the, in the thought process of the vote banks. And it has been induced by the partisan politics and the, uh, and the decision makers on the top. So uh, it is something which is confusing. It is not uh, very enjoyable uh, till the point of time actual results come out and we know how it has played out. By and large, what I see between the India Today MOTNs, which we did for the last uh, uh, two years, particularly when we saw MVA being on the, having been the dominant position until the point of time in January when we saw that NDA is not only catching up, but actually now taking over. It is the overarching presence or the popularity of the Prime Minister Modi. In Maharashtra, at least, uh, nobody should be confused that if the numbers or the mandate comes in favor of the BJP or the NDA, it is because of anything which to do with the local popularity of the local leaders or the local government, because numbers are very clear. The current state government is not very popular, but Mr. Modi's popularity is what is uh, working for them and trying to pull it out uh, from that negativity. So if it works good for the BJP, if it works for the BJP, nobody should draw any conclusion for the upcoming assembly elections in Maharashtra. That is the red flag that I am giving to our viewers. Okay, let's look at the vote share density map of Maharashtra. On these five seats, the India Alliance had 40% plus votes on all the five. Uh, the India Alliance had between 25 and 40% uh, on three, which basically means that the India Alliance in the initial seats of Maharashtra far more strongly placed uh, than the India Alliance. Sanjay Kumar, you've been doing your whole polling and analysis. It's really a question of who can carry the sentiment of the voter. 
will Uddhav Thakre prove that he is the real inheritor of Bala Sahib, Bala Sahib's legacy or will uh, Eknath Shinde be able to pull that away? Will Ajit Pawar, the nephew, be able to uh, you know, outsmart and outfox his uncle Sharad Pawar or will the uncle show that he's the boss and the real satrap? That's really why, even though there's just five seats up for grabs, my sense is in Maharashtra, in that Nagpur, Ramtek, Garchiroli belt, what happens could potentially set a trend and a pattern for what may happen on the other seats uh, when uh, phase two and phase three happen. Uh, Rahul, I'm not sure whether whatever trend which we witnessed on the 19th, while we will not get to know what happened on the 19th in the five constituencies, which goes to poll, I'm not sure whether this would be the trend setter for the next few phases of polls in Maharashtra. But yes, we always say a good start is always helpful for a party which makes a good start. Like in a cricket, we always say a good opening pair at least lays the foundation. So we expect that to happen, but I'm not very sure if that's likely to happen. When it comes to the, you know, the support base, you, you were asking about the sympathy. My own sense is that sympathy is on the side of Sharad Pawar. Sympathy is on the side of Udav Thakre. But at the same time, we should not forget that the formal party is on the other side because the symbol is not with Sharad Pawar. The symbol is the party symbol is not with Udav Thakre. It has gone to the other side. So it is a tricky situation. Tricky situation, not for the voters, but I, I must say it's a tricky situation for people like me who want to, you know, do the polls, make projection about seat. That's a very, very tricky situation. I get a sense that Maharashtra is heading for a very interesting contest. And when I say interesting contest, I see both the alliance poised in a very keenly contested election. Very difficult to say at this moment, which side is ahead, even by inches. Uh, I'm talking about the entire Maharashtra. I'm not specifically talking about the five constituency, which goes to poll this Friday. Oh, sure.